The disciples, every man according to his ability, determined to send relief unto the brother which dwelt in Judea, which also they did, and sent it to the elders by the hands of Barnabas and Saul. So here we find a prophet by the name of Agabus, Agabus, predicting hard times for the city of Jerusalem. <clears throat> Scripture states that he did so by the Holy Ghost. But even greater still, we have confirmation because it, Scripture states that it came to pass in the days of Claudius Caesar. One thing that the Old Testament was clear on, judge and prophet by their um, message. If it's false, take him outside of stone. The penalty was death. But here we find someone acting in the office of prophet, of a prophet. He not only predicted something by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, but it came to pass. It was a message for the whole church there in Jerusalem. <laughs> and we find that people were able to prepare and send aid to Jerusalem because of this prophecy. God was warning them. What about Acts chapter 21, verses 10 through 14? Acts 21, 10 through 14.
Gracious Heavenly Father, we give you all praise and glory for everything you've done for us and shall continue to do. I pray, Lord, that your word will take root in our hearts, Lord, that we may fall more in love with you, Lord, that we would grow spiritually, Lord, that we would know you to greater depths, Lord, and just fall in love with you all over again, Lord. I pray, Lord, as well, that we'd all be open and that we even pray, Lord, that whatever your will is for our life, if you have one of these offices for us, Lord, even if you, whatever you have for us to do, Lord, that your will will be done in all things, Lord. I pray that we would not hinder you in any way, but that we'd let you speak to our hearts and guide us in all areas of our life, Lord. Not just physically, Lord, but also spiritually, Lord. That we can fulfill that whatever that role is that you have for us in the church. I pray, Lord, that you anoint the pastor as he brings forth your word today. And with the song leader and the musicians, Lord, as they praise you upon the string instruments. Lord, I pray as well, Lord, that we prepare our hearts and our minds to receive what you have for us, that we be in one spirit, one accord, that we receive what you have for us, but more importantly, that the Holy Ghost can manifest himself and have his way, Lord, and speak to each one of us. And if we so, Lord, I pray that you give us the courage to step out of faith, delivering the message that you have for us, Lord that we'd be able to work. And even if you'd have us to speak to one another, just walk up to a person, deliver what you laid on our hearts for them, Lord. I pray that we do so, Lord, in a meek and mild manner, willing to obey the voice of the Lord no matter what. 